Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Deathbringer here and welcome back to some more Search and Destroy. I've got another fantastic game for you all. This was a very decent match I had a long time ago on Interchange, as you can see right now. Running up this rush route, going to get some kills straight away to pick up this gameplay, start it off. And it turns out to be really like great competitive gameplay and... I was running in this lobby for quite a while uh, up until this point and... The opposite team, they were pretty good, you know, they were giving me troubles, I was like the only guy on my team that was sort of doing something and trying to actually win, and in this gameplay, I I go up really well, I get, um, I, I, we go up to like 3-1 winning, I, I think it's all over by the um, fifth round, I think we've, we've got this, I'm going to sort them out, you know, I'm going to sort this team out, they had their mics on, and in previous games, I was getting a lot of, like, um, jib from them, you know, I was getting a lot of hate towards me, saying, like, um, uh, you're not good Deathbringer, and I'm sort of used to all that, you, you get it a lot when you're, like, really good at a game, um, a lot of people get jealous, and being high in the world as well, on Search and Destroy, Lobby Leaderboard rankings, people always expect the sort of best out of me, you know, they always expect you to be some sort of monster and, and sort of wipe them all out, but we all know that Modern Warfare 3 isn't um, so, so much about that, you know, it's not a one-man army game, but um, I, I always do my best to try and, you know, do what I can for the team, and uh, the, the, this is like the end, really, this was like the last match I had with them, and showed it out, showed them out, we're done, you know, they did well, they did well, you know, I'll give them that, they took me to 3-3 in the end, and final round, I basically got the win, and our team won, it were really, really cool, so, while you're watching this great gameplay in the background, um, I hope you enjoy it, by the way, I'm going to talk about overpowered weapons, and not just overpowered weapons, but sort of the best weapons in Call of Duty, the best stuff that um, these developers provide us with in these games, and I'm basically going to give you a simple way, I'm just going to, you probably should already know this, but I'm going to explain it, a simple way of getting better at COD, getting better at Search and Destroy in particular, and that is basically by using the best equipment that the developers provide you with, no matter what Call of Duty it is get into these games and it's going to be the same when Black Ops 2 comes out. When Black Ops 2 comes out, I will be running the best guns that there are, you know. And the simple fact is, you're going to be running into people that uh, are going to be smart. They're going to be picking up these powerful weapons. They're going to be using certain, you know, perks and stuff like that. Certain setups that are always going to do well for them. And this is the key here to becoming better at Search and Destroy. I really do think this is a good tip that I'm going to give out right now. And telling you guys to use the best weapons is a really helpful thing to do. Um, Imagine if you're using the best weapon all the time, you're always going to do well, aren't you? Well, if you're not, like, if you're like an average player to begin with, because we all start off as, as a bad players, average players, I'm not going to say bad players, but, you know, we've all got certain um, skill levels, and you're going to, you're not going to start off the king of COD, you know, you're not going to start off um, killing a lot of people generally, unless, you know, you've been playing these games for a while, and, you sort of uh, an experienced COD player. I'm, I'm more relating to people now who are sort of average players. You know, you may be working towards getting higher kills in S and D, or you know, you might you might just not be happy with the results you're getting. You might want to be working up to 20 kills. I don't know what skill level some of you guys are at, but I know I've helped a lot of people so far with the kind of videos that I always upload. I've, I've been trying to talk about certain topics that are going to help you guys, and this is just another piece of advice that I can give. When Black Ops 2 comes out, um, use the best weapons that they provide you with, you know, 
the way you're going to figure that out is you're going to be seeing a lot of people using certain weapons in the game, basically. You're going to be getting killed off them. In this game, it's clearly the MP7. You know, you get killed off the MP7 a lot. You get killed off ACRs. Um, you know, you can clearly tell which ones are the sort of OP weapons, you know, they're overpowered weapons as everyone likes to call them. I don't like to call them overpowered because personally I don't think they're overpowered. There's always things you can do to sort of counter different weapons, you know, you can hide back with an ACR behind cover and that's going to beat an, an, an MP7 at range, unfortunately, most of the time if, if you can outpredict them and, you know, People saying that certain guns are overpowered and stuff like that, it's not true really, it's its, it's not true, you, you know, there's stuff you can do to counter, um, and, you know, that's what I'm trying to um, get across today, you know, you should be using these powerful weapons, and the main point here is, once you've used these weapons over and over, once you've got yourself into the rhythm, you know, you're going to get your accuracy, you're going to get this pinpoint accuracy while using the same weapon over and over in S&D, you know, you're going to be, um, your your reactions are going to gain, again, you're going to get greater at that, you're going to become a better all-round player, and it might not seem by using the same weapons over and over that you're going to get better with other weapons, but in the end, you actually become a lot better with other weapons in the game, you know, you don't want to start off using these sort of average weapons, you know, you want to start out using the best equipment, the, the best perks, the best um, weapons, do yourself well, get good at the game, train yourself to become a better S&D player, you know, and once you've got all this sort of stuff down, once you've got your accuracy there, you know, then start moving on to these more difficult weapons to use with higher recoils or whatever it might be, you know, to have a little bit of fun, you know, that's what it's all about. Because at the end of the day, if you're going for day-to-day -day XP, you're going to, for day-to-day -day score, most likely you're going to be using the same weapon over and over, you know, you want to do well. I use it a hell of a lot, um, the MP7, and I know a lot of people have seen my gameplays lately and thought, oh, this guy only uses MP7, but just because you only use one weapon to do well, that's day in, day out, day, day, day in, day out stuff, you know, you need to be doing doing that to keep, you know, your solid scores, and using different weapons in the game is your choice after that, once you're good, you should be moving on to having fun with different guns, like shotguns, you know, sniper rifles, I, I occasionally pull out the sniper rifle, uh, again and again, every so often, you know, I like to have a bit of fun with it, I've made montages with it, I've had collaterals with it, you know, I've had real good fun in Search and Destroy with different weapons in this game, and it, and it really put a good challenge on me, you know, when I've got, got sort of a little bit bored of using these RP guns, but there's, but there's nothing wrong in the end anyway, um, Coming to the end of this gameplay, by the way. There's nothing wrong with using these overpowered weapons. Don't let anyone tell you wrong. Just get the job done in Search and Destroy. Get the win for your team and get those kills, guys. And you will become a better player in the end. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. This was Deathbringer. I hope you've learned some um, great stuff today. I hope I've sort of helped you a little, you know. You will get better at your game. Stick at it. Get your setup the way you want it to be. That is the main point of this video. You know, use them weapons that are there for you. They're there in the game for a reason. Do well, guys. Alright, thank you once again. 21 kills on interchange using the PP90M1. Um, I'll see you later and have a nice day. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000!